<clears throat> I would say very normal. I mean, I'm not so much uh, afraid of death, and, uh, but uh, if it's coming close, so maybe it's not true, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, uh, I was not uh, busy with uh, thinking about suicide or things like that. It was not, not at all. And for me, this film is not the more I started to understand what I did during working on this film, for me it became very clear that I did a very, that I had a very strong issue about life, not about death, you know. This film is a film about life. So I, I wasn't aware when I started. The more I went into it, I saw everything is living and dying, you know, it's getting more and more. And uh, I think I never made a film which uh, is so much uh, alive images, you know. And I did it in a way, at the beginning I did it uncon unconsciously. And when I started to realize it, of course I pushed it in more in this direction. So, <coughs> maybe in this period of my life, it was like uh, the, the will to do a kind of homage uh, at for life, not for death. Because we are so much lost in this globalized world in a way, you know. It's very difficult to find a uh, hold and your individual power and to, to, to uh, identify with something in this world, you know. And that's what's happening here. But this man is not <coughs> giving up. He's provoking life in a very heavy in a very heavy man manner, I mean, in a deadly manner at the end. But he is not, he is not depressive. He is really, he wants life. He's fighting for life with the very la last power he has. 